This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. What up, though? What up, though? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Own School Dad. And we got a video for you today. We're going to talk about what are the name of some of the brokers and the brokers, you know, the brokers that are in your state. We have a list of brokers that, you know what I'm saying, that are uh, across the nation. And we're going to get into that in this video. If you don't know what a broker is, we're going to go over that to give you some information about what a broker is pertaining to the non-emergency medical transportation or private transportation business. Okay? And so let's get into this video and let's share some information and get you educated on what a broker and who are the brokers, power players in this uh, particular industry we call NEMT. What up, though, and welcome to the channel. What a broker is, and who are the brokers, and what states are brokers? Well, we in the previous video we talked about broker states. Now we want to talk about a list of brokers' names and how you can get partnered with these particular brokers in your state if you are in a broker state. You know what I'm talking about? So, a broker is basically the middleman. You know what I'm talking about? So the uh, state of Missouri is right here. The broker is here and your company is here. In order for you to work with Medicaid, Medicare, or the state, you have to go through the broker in order for you to get your clients. You might be asking why. The reason why is they basically, the state of Missouri delegates that relationship between Medicare and Medicaid to the brokers in order for, I guess, any EMT companies, you know, to be able to get those type of clients. So, in order for you to use, in order for you to get any, I mean, uh, any EMT or Medicaid, Medicare clients, you have to go through the broker. If you are in the broker state. In a previous video, we talked about what states are broker states, such as New Mexico, Arizona, California, Ohio, uh, Virginia, West Virginia, New York, New Jersey, Illinois, uh, Louisiana, Idaho, uh, Nevada, California. You know what I'm saying? The list goes on and on and on as far as broker states where you can't work with Medicaid or Medicare without going through a broker. You might be wondering why that's important. It's important because at the end of the day, we all want to get paid, you know what I'm saying, for providing a service. At the same time, helping the community, or you know, we all want to get paid. So in order for you to get paid, if you're working through a broker, you either got to do private pay, if you want to get paid in this industry, or you're going to be working with uh, brokers to get, you know what I'm saying, that money from Medicaid or Medicare. Now we got a, a list of brokers, basically like nationwide brokers and regional brokers that we're gonna share at the end of this video. But my purpose of the video is to educate you on what a broker is and how this relationship uh, directly affects you as a uh, private transportation company. So with that being said, if you're working with a broker such as well, if you're working with a broker, okay, first you have to partner up with them. You have to fill out an application and go through the, you know, go through the whole process of working with, you know what I'm saying, that company. Whether it's VO, uh, Alu, uh, <laughs> Farida. Uh, we're going to go over that list in a minute. Right. But if you're working with those one of those particular companies, then you got to fill out their application in order to partner with, you know, you know what I'm saying, those uh broker companies and then when you do uh, partner with them and get accepted this is when you you know what I'm saying build a relationship and get your uh, what we call you know clients so once you partner with the with these particular companies and you got everything squared away as far as your EIN number your MPI number because you're going to need all this stuff when you're applying to these brokers make sure you have your MPI number which is which stands for national provider identifier number and you can head over to CMS dot gov uh, in order to uh, I believe it's dot gov cms dot gov in order to get your MPI number fill out your MPI application make sure you have your EIN number make sure you have your business entity set up which is your LLC whether it's a you know a regular LLC or an S corp or a C corp and 
And then once you get, be able to get, once you get approved, then you'll be able to get your clients, you know what I'm saying, to move on. So I want to go over the list of brokers. I have my notes right here. So if you see me looking down, it's because I have my notes right in front of me. Because I don't know all the brokers offhand, but I have a list of brokers in, you know what I'm saying, in different states. And some of these major player brokers, they do business in quite a few states. And so the list goes something like this. Let's go start from the top. So some of the big ones like Southeast Trans, okay? I'm gonna go over what states are, Logistic Care, which was formerly, I mean, Logistic Care, which is Modif Care now. Modif Care, they are uh, they're one of the uh, largest brokers in the US. They are currently in, operating in all states except Wyoming. So Wyoming, uh, do not have uh, logistic care. Access to care is another one. You know, Florida uses access to care. Um, and quite a few other states use access to care. Alavi is an uh, NEMT broker with operations in every state. Um, Alavi partnered with a program that serves Medicare recipients in Florida as well. So access to care, a lot of care, and Alavi. A-L-I-V-I -I is also one of the major uh, players. One Call. So One Call is a medical transportation uh, broker for the NM NEMT and air ambulances. ambulances. MTM is another nation nationwide player. They, they mainly on the East Coast, but they serve, you know what I'm saying, Southeast as well. But MTM is a major broker within the NEMT right. industry. As I was saying before, access to care is a program provided through AMR, a nationwide company that does primarily emergency medical transport. Access to care, however, it currently serves 29 states. So access access to care, like we were talking about in the beginning, um, is a major, or you might as well say a nationwide broker because they service 29 of 50 states. Regional NEMT brokers. We have secure transportation and they service, uh, it's a large regional broker that operates on the West Coast and Southwest, except for Oregon and Nevada. They also now cover Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, New Jersey, what up though, Jersey, South Carolina, what up though, South Carolina, Virginia and Wisconsin. National Medtrans, I know they're here in Michigan because we used to deal with them. So South, I mean, National Medtrans, they also service um, California, Nevada, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Michigan, Ohio, Virginia, and New York. So Nas National Medtrans is a nation, uh, you might as well say a, a major player broker. VO. VO is a is a well connected broker as well. Uh, VO is basically a medium sized broker, and they service uh, states such as Arizona, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Florida, Michigan, and Virginia. You know what I'm talking about? So these are major uh, brokers that you can partner with in your private transportation business or any MT uh, business. Southeast Trans, that we are talking about in the beginning. Southeast Trans is a uh, major broker. They service Arkansas, Georgia, Indiana, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, Virginia, Washington, D.C. They work primarily with Medicaid and HM, HMO providers. So this is important information uh, for you to know. And I would strongly suggest you go do your own due diligence and look this information up on, on the internet and, and figure out how you can partner with the brokers right. if this is something that you want to do working with Medicaid, Medicare, and you know uh, private insurance companies. So we also have like state brokers where they only just service that particular state. I have just have, I just have a few of those, you know what I'm saying, but I just want to share that information with you. Kentucky has Rural Transit Enterprises Coordinated Incorporated. That is one of the brokers that's in Kentucky. Massachusetts, I have a, I had a comment about Massachusetts. So Massachusetts, the Greater uh, Out, Outcho, Attleboro 
Taunton, Taunton Regional Transit Authority, which is, stands for GARTRA. It's a public transit organization that provides a combination of NEMT, paratransit operations, as well as shuttle services to larger transit hubs. Ohio, what up though, Ohio? Ohio has uh, provide a ride. Uh, that's the broker within uh, the region of Ohio. This is a broker that covers various transportation needs in Ohio, including NEMT, by partner with both public and private organizations. Virginia, what up though, DeV? Virginia Premier works with uh, Medicaid and Medicare beneficiaries in Virginia. And that's basically our list uh, for today. I wanted to give you some information as far as brokers that might be in your region that you can partner with. Feel free to go visit their websites and find out all the information that uh, that they require when filling, uh, you know, partnering with their particular organizations. So you, as an NEMT or private transportation company, can get on the road uh, to serving your, your clients. Appreciate you uh, watching the video. If this video helped, you know what I'm saying? Go check out the other videos that we have pertaining to the uh, private transportation NEMT uh, business. And without further ado, we uh, appreciate you. Love and light to all my uh, family out there that's uh, on their journey to uh, starting their transportation business. We'll see you on the next one. Stay loose.